are here at Sebring. I'm Dan Johnson. I'm talking with Steve Bensinger today. Now, you know this face possibly, but you know this face with an airplane that doesn't look like this. Steve has been a big proponent of the CGS Hawk, one of my favorite ultralights for many, many years. I don't know how many hours you've got in CGS Hawk, but I lost track of myself. You probably can't. You ran out of logbook room to <laughs> enter all that data. But now here you are with the uh, Gropo Trail. What's what's going on with that? I. Uh, got an invitation to uh, apply to be a dealer last year after Sun and Fun, and we, uh, we met at Oshkosh and uh, hit it off well. I really liked the airplane, it was kind of what I was looking for to move into, and uh, so here I am. I cover the, the Southeast United States. Southeast United States is your territory, okay. So, uh, and did you talk to the Italian fellows about that? Yes, I did. Nando and, and the crowd? Or? I haven't had a chance Maybe to talk to them yet. That's the designer, Nando Grobo, but uh, yeah, he's got other people. He's going to be an older gentleman now, probably doesn't move around as fast I understand he, he still flies 700 hours a year. Oh, jeez. Well, good for him. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, what drew you to this airplane, Steve? Uh, I was looking for something a little faster. I like the, uh, the off-field look of it. Yeah, you got the big tires on it, I see. It's pretty standard on these, I know. Very tough yeah. plane. Really sturdy gear. Very sturdy gear with the thick gear and the big tires. It's like landing on a pillow. Are you going to do training in it? Uh, no, but I do have a, a CFI available to do that with it. Okay. So, uh, and how do you think it'll work in a training environment? I think it'll be fine. Uh, it's a good way to get your tail, tail, tail dragger endorsement. And, uh, uh, you can also build it as tri gear if you don't want to get tail. Okay, yeah, you can get this airplane both ways. We did look at that in Europe. You said there's not a tri gear in the country, though, yet. Not as far as I know. Okay, so tailwheels, there's a special place in a lot of people's mind for a tailwheel, and uh, here's a nice choice. But also, we've got the folding wing on this. Folding wing? Do you like that part? Do you I use like that part? I just trailered it back from Texas on a flatbed trailer, and it worked just great. Fantastic. The wing's folded up, then you have to take the tail off. It's road legal on the width. And, uh, Trailer like there was nothing back then. Is that right? Excellent. So an open trailer, I guess. Uh, just a flatbed. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. how long has it taken you to fold the wings? I uh, saw well, the experts do it pretty quick. The experts, if you're just going to shove it into a garage or a hangar, you can have it completely folded and ready to go in five minutes. I'm literally, seriously. By yourself? By yourself. No so one-man operation to fold the wings up. And um, when we do these things, these appear on YouTube, they're on my website, but they stay there for a while. So we don't like to dwell on price too much, but I know this has a pretty agreeable number. So in at this time, and please understand, viewers, if you're watching this down the road somewhere, check with Steve, find out what the current price is. But today, get us in the ballpark. In the ballpark, ready to fly about 85,000. 85,000. So it's a number that a lot of people are saying, hey, these, these light sports have gotten so expensive. And indeed, the ones with autopilot and ADS-B and carbon fiber, yeah, they're, they're quite exotic little airplanes, so they charge some money for those. But 85,000, that's a solid number about what we were expecting as we come on the 10th year anniversary of light sport and you do the time value thing, that's about what everybody expected back then. So here it is. There it is. Do you like the tandem? You're, you're used to tandem in the Hawks, of course, so you like it, but how do other people regard the tandem seating? Uh, I get uh, mixed results. Uh, some folks like it a lot because you can see on both sides of the, of the cockpit. I have gotten comments from people in the back seat and saying that visibility is just fine back there, too. I know some Sounds like you haven't been in the back seat too much. Not much. <laughs> Um, can you can you fully operate this? I mean, you do a flight instruction. The instructor's in the back. That's right. At least most of the time after maybe an intro flight or two or something. But yeah, there are full dual controls. Actually, all of the ignition switches and everything are duplicated in the back. Oh, they are. Okay. So you have pretty much full control. You just got to look over the shoulder for instrumentation. The only thing missing on this particular plane is brakes on the back. Um, the kit that I'm bringing in the country for myself will have that. Yeah, so where are you operating out of? I'm at, out of uh, Bushnell, Florida. Okay. It's about 30 miles south of Ocala on the Southern Ah, okay. And uh, you've got a long enough strip there, you probably don't even need brakes, I'm thinking. 3,400 grass, no problem. Yeah, no problem, really. So, people don't understand that if you're used to a spam cam and you're riding on the brakes just to turn off at the first exit or something like that, you think they're necessary, but it's really not that vital. I mean, you probably flew Hawks for years without any brakes. That's true. Yeah. So, of course, the Hawks are hard to replace. Steve, uh, you got a website for us that we can put up on the screen, tell people about? Yeah, LonePalmArrow.com. Is there only one palm there? There's only one palm. It's <laughs> the LonePalmArrow.com. Okay, great. Well, I've uh, we've talked with Steve in the past and uh, a lot of stuff about Hawks, but now we're into the Nando Gropo. 
uh, the Gropo Trail. Gropo and Avio or something. Gropo Avio is the name of the company. Trail is the name of the model. We've got some information on this. We'll have more. You can find that on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks a lot for joining us here at Sebring.